Hey guys, welcome to another week of a day in the life of a conservatory student. Um, it's been a while since I actually recorded myself. Uh, it's been really busy lately. Um, well, right now it's about a week before Thanksgiving. In fact, exactly a week before Thanksgiving. Um, I just had my first recital at Oberlin yesterday. Um, I played soprano, caravan, sonata for soprano, saxophone, and piano. <laughs> Um, three movements from that, and I also played in a sax quartet. Those recordings will probably be on YouTube when I get the chance. Um, it went pretty well. Uh, I, I'm recovering from a cold, which unfortunately happened yesterday. Uh, it didn't affect my performance, though, I don't think. Tylenol seems to be good at making colds disappear for a while. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's been really busy had a lot of tests recently, well, two, and a lot of quizzes. Um, I got a C on my history test, which isn't so good, so later tonight I'm going to have to type up a long extra credit paper in order to nullify that, I guess, and I don't even want to know how well I did in my first year seminar test. That was hard. I, I really don't like my first year seminar. It's uh, science in the mind, so if you're planning on coming here next year, don't take it. Um, it's like an intro to neuroscience course without a textbook, and the teacher doesn't give study guides, but she gives really hard tests. So, um, yeah, not so good. Uh, let's see, I have a term paper due on Monday, and, yeah, that's about it. Okay, so for the past three weeks, I've been playing only soprano. I haven't even touched my alto until tonight. Um, so I got a lot better at soprano. It was good. Um, I started to sound like a legitimate soprano player instead of just like a dying duck or whatever. Um, so that was good. But I didn't touch my alto at all. So I finally played my alto again tonight. And wow, the first thing I noticed was I sound good. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Not not so much in the sense that I got them really a good player, but just the contrast between listening to oneself playing soprano all the time, which is really out of tune and it's hard to get a good sound out of it, to playing alto, where, you know, it's a lot easier to play well. So I just felt like I sounded really good tonight. I don't know. Um, also, my fingers are, like, screwed up now. I don't know. It's just... There felt like there was a lot of strain on muscles that hadn't been used a lot recently. Um, I don't know how to describe it, I just guess my wrists are bent differently on alto than they are on soprano, so, um, I don't know, I guess I was using different muscles that hadn't been used in a while. Uh, <clears throat> what else? Yeah, so I've been rock climbing a lot recently, and it's a lot of fun. Um, I don't know, I think everyone should just have some exercise that they really enjoy doing to get away from work and stuff. Um, yeah, but I realized that it's not a good idea to schedule practicing time after rock climbing because your fingers feel like gel afterwards and you can't, you don't really feel like moving them quickly, so, yeah. Um, anyway... Uh, I realize that if you're watching this and you're applying next year, college applications are probably due soon, I guess. Probably a few weeks. I don't remember the deadline. Maybe it was December 1st. Um, yeah. So, a reminder to those of you who still have college applications to fi finish. Um, yeah, and I've also got questions about my dorm. Um, I really like my dorm here because it's really quiet. I live in the substance-free dorm and there's not a lot of partying here ever. I can always fall asleep when I want to, etc. Um, and though my room's really small, it doesn't really feel cramped or anything because, I mean, I have space for my bed, I have a space for my desk, and I have a bookshelf, and I have space for all my clothes. And I just keep it clean and I never feel like my room's too small. 
So yeah, um, also a big plus about my room, or my dorm, is that it's right across the street from a dining hall, and I love eating, and it's also really close to the gym. Um, yeah. Uh, so, last thing is that winter term is coming up, and I need to come up with a project for that, and it can be pretty much anything I want it to be. Um, so... I was thinking I could call it a personal growth project if I said I was going to closely monitor my diet and exercise rigorously five times a week. I, I mean, that's kind of close to what I do normally, but I think it would be nice if I could do that and get credit for it. Um, because winter term is basically you conceive of a project and you get someone to sponsor it and you do whatever you do and you I don't know keep a log of it or something and it can be anything you want so I guess for most people rec exercising rigorously for five days a week and keeping track of their diet could be considered you know a big task but for me it's kind of something I already do so, I, I mean, I don't necessarily exercise five days a week. I try to exercise um, as often as possible, which usually comes out to being three or four days. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try to pass that off as a winter term project, and hopefully I'll be successful. Um, yeah, no playing this week because, uh, well, I mean... I had the concert last night, and I'm going to work on getting a recording of it up on YouTube. Um, yeah. Alright. Oh, um, one last thing, actually. I registered for my next semester's classes. So next semester, I'm taking European history, just to get requirements out of the way. Um, I'm taking the Living Cell, which is a bio upper, well, 200 level bio course. Uh, Chem 102, um, Oral Skills 2, Music Theory 2, Private Lessons, possibly Saxophone Quartet, and College Community Wins again. So yeah, um, that's a lot of credits, but it's a lot easier than what I'm taking this semester, I think. Well, I mean, it depends on how hard the living cell is, but I think the rest of the classes are easier than, say, my first year seminar, for example, which has proved to be a big pain and probably the biggest mistake of freshman year so far, um, and music history, which is just difficult, I don't know. So yeah, um, I guess I could rant for a little longer. I guess I have a little bit of space too. Um, I don't know. In history, we're learning about the Romantic era and getting past tonality and all that stuff. I mean, I think atonal music is legitimate, but I think music is an art form only as long as it's still entertaining and can keep audiences, and I think there's a lot of atonal music out there that doesn't do that, and that kind of defeats the purpose, in my opinion. I mean, I'm not some, like, fancy musicologist or whatever, but, um, like... If you're only writing music for the mu music theorists, then you're writing for, like, one, I don't know, one millionth of the population or something, one five hundred thousandth. I mean, come on. If, if you're going to put a lot of work into something, make it something that a lot of people can appreciate. I mean, granted, the musical training of nor of the average person nowadays is pretty sad, but I mean, I think most people could go to a concert and appreciate like Scheherazade or a symphony by Beethoven or something. Anyway, that's that's just my rant about atonal music. I, I certainly think it has its place, and I think if done correctly, it can be as effective as not atonal music or tonal music is, I mean, yeah, but I, a lot of the stuff we're learning about, about how 12 tone is the natural progression of, uh, the, of the musical world, it's just, 
I don't know. Not something that I feel like I'm ready to appreciate. Anyway, so that's my rant. Yeah, coming up on time here. Alright, see you later.